Hey guys, Alicia here. Today I'm going to be trying out pizza in the air fryer. I love the two ingredient pizza dough. I like to use it for lots of different things, but one of the main things obviously is for pizza. We eat a lot of pizza with the two ingredient pizza dough, but up until today I have never cooked it any other way but in the oven. So since I've been loving this air fryer so much, I wanna try making the two ingredient pizza dough pizza in the air fryer. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna just make a very simple pizza because again, I have never done this before. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, hopefully well. But we're gonna keep it simple and see how this turns out. So let me go over the ingredients real quick. First off, for the two ingredient pizza dough, you're gonna need some fat-free Greek yogurt. I have changed the way I do the two ingredient pizza dough and I've said that a few times but I like to keep repeating it just in case somebody hasn't heard me say it. The two ingredient pizza dough is supposed to be one cup Greek yogurt to one cup self rising flour but as I have found and a lot of other people have found that doesn't work out too well. The dough is way too sticky and you end up having to use a whole bunch more flour to knead it out which gets the points up. So what I do now is instead of using a cup of the yogurt, I use three quarter cup to one cup self rising flour. And then I also allow for an additional eighth cup for kneading this out. And that seems to work pretty well for me most of the time. So that's what the dough is going to be. Three quarter cup Greek yogurt, one cup self rising flour. Next, I've got three quarter cup or three ounces of part skin mozzarella cheese. Here I've got a cup of marinara sauce. I am using this stuff here, the Simply Nature marinara pasta sauce that was recommended to me by a viewer. So thank you, Jack C, for that recommendation. We've been enjoying that. Um, you do want to be careful with marinara sauces though because a lot of them are very high. This one in particular is pretty low. It's four, four points for a cup. Now I also make my own marinara sauce or pasta sauce. I will link that up above and down below. That would only be two points for a cup. So even lower than this, but I don't always have that on hand. So I'm using this today. And then I'm also, oh, and I get that sauce at Aldi, which is where I also get my pepperoni, the Mama Cozy's pepperoni, turkey, turkey pepperoni. I'm going to be using 20 slices of this and then here I had a little leftover low fat feta cheese from a pasta dish that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on there too. That's four tablespoons. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of oregano, a little bit of crushed red pepper for a little bit of heat. And then I'm going to be spraying my air fryer here with this no calorie canola oil spray, just so they hopefully don't stick in there. That's all I'm gonna be using to make these, so let me jump in here and get the dough going. So for the dough, it's as simple as adding a cup of the self rising flour and three quarter cup of the Greek yogurt. And then you're gonna just stir the two of these together until you get what resembles dough. or at least somewhat resembles dough, I, I should say. Because it's not gonna completely look like dough until you knead it out. All right, I've got that all mixed together. And as you can see, it's, it's looking a lot like dough. So now I'm gonna take it and on a lightly floured surface, I'm gonna go ahead and knead this for about five minutes. Now that I've got this all kneaded, I'm gonna cut my dough into fours. So I'm gonna just roll this out into a um, oval, six to seven inch oval, which will fit in my air fryer because I wanna get two of them in there at a time at least. Okay, I've got two of these rolled out into not really any kind of shape actually, but I need to be able to fit two of them 
in my air fryer here, so hopefully they're gonna fit at this shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put these in here before I top them so that I don't have to try to move fully made up pizzas into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the bottom of my air fryer. And then I'm going to lay these in here. Like that. So as I said, I'm gonna just top these while they're in here. So we're gonna start with a quarter cup of the sauce on each one of these. Next, I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of the mozzarella on each one of these. Followed by five pieces of turkey pepperoni. And about a tablespoon of the feta on each one. And I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of oregano. and red pepper. And I'm gonna put them in my air fryer over here. I'm gonna cook these at 375. And I'm gonna start them at five minutes and then I'll check them. When I do the pizza in the oven, I'm doing it like 400, 425 for anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what kind of pizza I'm making. But I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a whole lot faster. So again, I'm gonna start with five minutes at 375 and see how we're looking. All right, it has been five minutes. Yeah, I'll try to show you what these look like. Well, first off, I've noticed that the pepperoni has blown off <laughs> this one entirely. Um, and it's all back there, which is not that big of a deal. I could just put it back on, but I'm thinking these look pretty done at five minutes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and kind of check the dough and see how it's looking, but Everything else looks like it's pretty much done after five minutes. So I'll take these out and then I'll be back. Okay, I took these out, checked the dough. It was still not quite done. So I cooked these another two minutes, but I feel like if I keep cooking them, I'm gonna kind of cremate my top ingredients. So I think what I'm gonna do with these next two over here is I'm gonna cook the dough alone for a couple minutes and then I will add the toppings. But these cooked for seven minutes and I think they're done, um, but maybe the dough is a little bit underdone. So we'll try it a little different way this next time. Okay, so again, I'm gonna just cook, I've got these in here and I'm going to just cook them by themselves for a couple minutes. And actually what I think I'll also do since I'm going the extra step to cook the dough first, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz them with a little bit of olive oil. I do this when I make the pizza in the oven, is I cook the dough first with a little bit of olive oil, and then that creates kind of a seal for the ingredients that I put on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, cook these at 375 for probably two minutes, and then I'll come back and put the ingredients on and go from there. All right, I've got those topped and I'm gonna go ahead and cook them at 375 again for five minutes. And we'll see how these come out. And here they are. And I think they look pretty good. I'm thinking the cooking the dough for two minutes on its own before adding the, the toppings and then doing an additional five minutes is probably the way to go because these look, they just look a lot better than the other ones did. 
The only problem with doing it this way is it's an extra step and you have to then take this hot basket out, have a heat resistant service to put it on in order to then put your pizzas together and put it back in. But other than that, I'm thinking that's probably the way to go is to cook the dough first for a couple minutes. But I'm gonna pull these out of here, let them cool a little bit, and then we will give them a try. Okay, here they are. Now, one of these is gonna be a serving, so there's gonna be four servings total. And these are gonna be eight points a piece on all three colors. But I'll have my hubby try it. He actually tried the other one with the uh, softer dough, so he can kind of compare the two ways of cooking it. You have a very interested pooch. Where's the other one? Oh, she's... I heard a slight little crunch there on the edge anyway. Mm -hmm. So these are really good. I mean, I like your pizza. Pizza, anyway. Mm -hmm. um, smells wonderful when it's cooking. Oh yeah. I mean, we've said that about the the air fryer. I mean, it's got that really good flavor that that is with all the pizzas you make. But doing it in the air fryer adds this. I don't know, lack of a better way to say, it, like a pizzeria almost, a little bit of a flavor to it. Mm -hmm. You know, we've said it. It it kind of adds like a fast food thing to that kind of meal so really nice flavor element added um, now I don't mind the really soft crust of the first batch it didn't seem to me like I was eating raw dough it was just soft um, this is still soft as far as like pliable but as you can see it's got the edges are yeah. edges are, are, are crisp and so you get a little bit of a crunch with the softer which is the softer crust. I don't know how you could possibly get the dough a certain way and have the toppings exactly how you want them if, if you do it in the air fryer. I mean, that's challenging in the oven itself. Well, I mean, you could probably cook the dough even longer on its own. Yeah. Um, but we aren't big, super crispy dough people. No. So if you are, I would suggest cooking the dough even longer than two minutes, maybe three, four even. But if you don't mind, you know, soft dough, just throw it all in there together and... Yeah, so the first way, what you're saying is you didn't mind it like that either. No. Mm -mm. Um, and I don't either, but I do know a lot of people like their dough kind of crispy. So if you, again, if you want it more crispy, I would suggest cooking it, the dough first. It's kind of a pain, but you're going to get a better result. And then, you know, as always, every air fryer is different with cook times and all that. But the overall cook time of only seven minutes for these is kind of nice. How much is it in the oven? Well, it's probably closer to 20 minutes in the oven. Now, if you figure that you have to cook these in batches of two, then you're still looking at 14 minutes of cook time. But um, still, you don't need to do four of them either. You could half the recipe and just do two if you just wanted two servings and then it would be seven minutes. But yeah, I, I think these turned out pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with them this way. Now, would you rather have pizza this way then or in the oven? This way. This way, yeah. okay. So I'll probably be doing my pizza in the air fryer from now on, at least occasionally, because yeah, I think this turned out pretty good. But that is two ingredient pizza dough pizzas in the air fryer. Thank you guys as always for watching and we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.